Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Rogue State Revolution, a new game out by Little Red Dog Games, or LRDG, as they seem to put their abbreviation everywhere. It's also published by Modern Wolf, and this is episode number four in my Let's Play series, playing this game. This was taken from a live stream from my Twitch channel. If you are interested in following me over there, there's a link in the description. Uh, it is part number four, as I said, of my Let's Play series of this game. We are the leader of a recently uh, a country that recently converted to democracy after over 80 years of monarchy and a short provisional government, and we're the first democratically elected president of our country. It's a Middle Eastern country that is a war-torn land and an impoverished land, and we have begun sort of trying to enrich the land, build up resources, build up factories, and really try to uh, turn the country's pro or prospects around. We've succeeded to some extent so far, and so things are going reasonably well there, uh, but we do have a long way to go. Uh, with that being said, we also have to deal with some insurgents in our territory, the BLF, or Basenji Liberation Front, and uh, we'll see how things play out. As I said, this was taken from a live stream from my Twitch channel, and let's go ahead and jump right back into that stream. Probably because the only thing of note there is a mine and a couple of towns with no factories. We do have a hospital there, though, which is interesting that the health situation would be so poor. I haven't had any FMVs pop up lately, Titus. Three gunmen opened fire in a crowded restaurant in Qualifold today. Fifteen people were killed and 23 were injured. A new fundamentalist extremist group calling itself... Oh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that as claim responsibility. They're demanding that you release several Basenji prisoners incarcerated for their political views. Throw all of our resources into hunting these responsible. Well, I can't do that because I don't have an intelligence facility. God, everybody's going to hate me. None of these are good options. Have the pro prisoners executed in retribution? Liberals won't like that. Uh, fuck him. No, we kill them all. <laughs> the fuck him policy. You know what? <laughs> eye for an eye, I guess. Oh, there's riots. What, don't, what aren't they happy about? We should change the Ministry of Citizenship's cultural policies. It's an ecological mess. We're now murdering prisoners. Yeah, damn right we are. Better dead than whatever. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, all right, so I've got cash. That's the one thing. My economy's humming, even if everything else is a mess. Let's go ahead and um, build a nature preserve. Be happy. Just enjoy the nature. Um, what province is this again? So that does help the environmental situation. Uh, meanwhile, the economy, wow, churning out cash. All right, so we're not exporting any food at the moment. We are exporting a little bit of food. Ten. Meanwhile, we're exporting a hundred plastics. Nice. Then I need to build a manufacturing plant, which I just spent money on other things. So that's going to have to wait till the next turn. Build a stadium? Yeah, maybe. All right, we are disappointed that our relationship with Babelstan hasn't improved. I understand. Nice. Chickasdani Dictionary. Hell yeah. Uh, Museum exchange exchanges. Wants me to change the cultural policies?
All right, I'll listen to you. How's our uh, diplomacy situation again? So disinterested, everybody's disinterested. So I don't know that I want to focus my uh, foreign actions on favoring Russia then. So let's go back to non-aligned. It'll make the conservatives like me a little bit more. In exchange, we're going to prioritize climate change, I think. Which improves the environment and liberal approval. So I get plus conservative approval by going back non-aligned. So then I'm going to go to try and prioritize the climate to take that conservative approval and gain a liberal approval while also improving the environment. Okay. Let the minister decide. So I'm not doing anything here, right? Electronic waste recycling. Yes. Let's do that. Um... Strip mine it is. Banking, veterans, nutrition, museum exchange. All right, everybody's doing what they need to do there. Apparently, we have luxury goods demands. So I'm not building anything with luxury goods. I don't have any gold mines. So in that sense, let's go ahead and import. Luxury goods are exported by Tajikistan, which we have great relations with, by the way. It's good to see you again. What do I owe, To what do I owe the pleasure? Give me some... Uh, some luxury goods for my people. Up to 110? Well, I don't need that, but, you know, whatever we need, go ahead and sell that to us. Friendly relations. Uh, no, we're already, I guess we're already exporting what you need. All right. Eliminate the rebel camp, which is where? How long do I have to do it? It doesn't really say. Well, I don't know how to find the damn rebel camp. Use a spy. I don't have any spies! I need to build an intelligence facility, I guess. All right, we'll end this turn. Move forward to 2024. Get the U.S. to do it for you? Enemies are plotting. BLF has airborne? What the fuck just happened? Did they attack the palace and then got shot down? A United Nations human rights organization is requesting to send a team of observers to Basenji to assess the state of our democracy. In particular, they're interested in investigating allegations of corruption, the treatment of prisoners, oops, and voter potential vote tampering. No, I have nothing. I have. We have plenty to hide. Not really, but I can't take the rule of law hit by two. Demand food for food grows. Sure, I'll export you some food. What do they need? Fourteen. Um, did they just attack the palace? Took some damage here. Palace guards, yes, please. Yes. And a facilities inspector. If they are hiding anything, nice. Traffic and pollution, huh? Oh boy, those roads are not in good shape. I'll have the money to upgrade them. Upgrade those roads. Get congestion under control. What do I do? I guess I can build more roads over there. There's only one highway over that way. Alright, so... 
Diplomacy. Can anybody help me? I, I can't even reach out to the U.S. Can Trajikistan help me? I need a Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Okay. What do I need here? I need... I think I'll have the money next turn. I wonder if we've almost exploited all the resources in our country now. Yes. I go right away. Oh, I don't know why I keep having that automated thing come up for Cartel Tycoon. Sorry about that, guys. Just noticed that now. Um, Excellency. Excellency. So I have yes. extra, extra special troops here. The Palace Gods. Can I rename them? Be cool if you could give the guys your, their own name. The palace took some damage by the looks of it, though. Hey, true southerner, how you doing? All right, so let's go ahead and end this turn. Veterans who served in the Basenji Revolution and the first Basenji Civil War are unhappy with the meager benefits they're receiving as part of their former service. Yeah, I don't want to hurt the loyalty of the military more. Yeah, the loyalty of my troops does seem low. I am working on veterans' benefits, which should help with that. Um... We don't have enough processed foods by the looks of it. We're importing some. Household appliances. I still need to build that manufacturing facility. Construction. What do I need? An intelligence agency is 60. Manufacturing plant is 40. I'm going to do that. These guys need some work. Let's give them a let's give them a factory. Jason to a town. Don't I have to decide what type of factory? Yeah. Household appliances. Okay. So we should be good with household appliances now. Why are my smelters at zero? Do have a smelter somewhere. We'll see what that looks like next turn. Um, increase food exports to Babelstan. The only way to do that is to build another farm, which I don't have enough cash to do that this turn, but we can look at doing that next turn. Cancel my aluminum exports? They should cancel on their own, you guys. My understanding is they will cancel on their own. All right, let's wait one more turn so I can get, get more uh, money to build an intelligence facility. Civilians at work. Okay. Forgot about her. Excellency, we received significant financial aid from Tajikistan during the Basenji Revolution. With the war behind us, they're seeking financial assistance in turn in their conflict with, in conflict with neighboring Naziristan. The problem is Naziristan is being supported by the Americans. Any aid would almost certainly be condemned by them. So... Smuggle weaponry to Tajikistan to support their cause will reduce possible to reduce U.S. relations by three. It 
smuggle weapons. Woohoo! The U.S. didn't find out. Yeah. I need your assistance raising our approval with conservative citizens in Rumani. Or Rum Rumi. Okay. We'll have to figure out how to do that. Meanwhile... Yep. Okay. So we are producing consumer um, appliances now. So actually, to that extent, let's see if we can't go ahead and uh, export some of that. So, by the way, we are an ally with Tajikistan. They love us so much. Um, consumer appliances are what? What do we... Who needs it? Tajikistan, our ally, needs household goods. Because they're our ally, they will probably pay a much better price. Akis, Ak, whatever their name is, also needs it. So, if I... Export household goods. I'll get 25 income from them. If I do it with Tajikistan, I'll get 43 from them. Wait, so that's 0.56 current spot price. Point five six current spot price. So it's the same. They just have a different amount of demand. Because I have my own internal demand, we'll do this just to try and r raise relations with them as well. So we're exporting a lot to Tajikistan. They're a key trading partner of ours. That'll improve my economic prospects even more. We're making almost 100 gold a turn. I think we, we probably have paid our loan off, by the way, now. Yep, we have. Our loan is paid off. So look at all that money. I'd like to invest it. So we will do that once we get the cash. But first things first, let's go ahead and build an intelligence facility, because I don't have one. It'll improve conservative approval. They want me to improve Rumi's conservative approval, so we'll, we'll, that's where we'll build the intelligence facility. Okay. In addition to improving regional public safety, the intelligence agency allows you to spend that intelligence on spies. Spies are specially designed to find rebel camps hidden in your country. And at higher levels, they can unlock more powerful abilities. Got it. All right. So train an intelligence officer, exploit an asset, share intel. So I don't understand, like... All right, go find me some enemy rebel camps or whatever. How much do I have to improve by 11 more percent? Seems like a lot. Meanwhile, I can assign a new minister. Justice. Negligent policing. That's a policy? Bureaucratic policing increases rule of law. Brutal policing. Martial law. All right, well, let's at least do bureaucratic. That's slightly more expensive, but less negative. Meanwhile, citizenship. Let's appoint a minister here, I think. Why can I not appoint a minister? Oh, I don't have any points left. Okay, well, guess we got to wait on that. Yeah, I need to upgrade more roads as well, Corny. All right, so what's the traffic situation? It's getting rough. All right, so can I upgrade these roads more? No? They're as wide as they can be? What if we build... I don't know. Build an alternate road here. Right, it'll go right by the palace. At least make him paved. 
Maybe that'll help. A little bit. It's not the most direct route, so I don't know if anybody will use it. But in theory, it might help. I don't know. All right. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and appoint a new minister of citizenship. He's a moron. Great. <laughs> but he's also resourceful. He's the only minister I have left. I have to unlock additional ministers, I guess. Griefy citizenship roadmap. Air security. Amnesty. Ban immigrant voting. We're going to build a wall. Conservatives want citizenship tests, huh? They, huh? A citizen may only be considered ethnically Karifi if they possess an identity card proving both their lineage and acceptance within the Karifi community. So the Karifi like that as well as the Basenji? Okay. All right, I guess. What's the conservative approval now? 61%. We're almost there, almost to 68%. Interesting. What about our demographic? What's our overall support? So conservatives strongly support us. Although I don't know why it says 68% when it says 50 here. I don't I don't quite understand nation. I guess it's provincial versus national. Probably wouldn't win an election right now though. A resourceful moron. Yeah, that is an odd one. What are you protesting here, you guys? Can't find any processed foods? I thought I had trade deals for that. All right, let me go back to diplomacy. Uh, these guys export to us, so let's... Am I not importing, like, any processed foods? I'm confused by that. Importing 45. It should be meeting my needs. Maybe I just need another factory? I don't know. The problem is I can't tell how... Like, I'm producing 200 total plastics. I'm exporting 36 of them. Losing four to corruption. So we're putting 80 of it into this manufacturing plant. We're putting 80 of it into this manufacturing plant. So that's 160 plus losing about 40. So I think we need another plastics factory. It, it looks like we've got excess oil, I think, but I can't really tell because the trade doesn't, it's not very clear. Uh, okay. Have I heard of the game called War Room? No, True Southerner. I've heard of Doomsday Room. Oh, war is it War Room Afghanistan? Yes, I think I have. I do some more food. All right, so where's our surveyor anyway? Is this a, a plot? No, he's still on his way up there. All right. There's two to get there now. Then explore. Excellency. Nothing noteworthy. Is that all of our potential? There might be something over here. But I think that's everything. I think we're out of exploitable resources at this point. Maybe one more and that's it. You guys research faster do i have any other favors i haven't like accomplished any goal you know the interesting thing is i feel like i haven't gotten a lot of requests from folks so Rumi, what else can i build that conservatives would like you know what we could do is i've got a bunch of money that i'm banking but my i'm not funding anything from a, a local budget perspective that probably would be smart um Go find the camps, I guess. 
I don't know if you can help me out at all. Maybe I can drop more UN camps too. The enemies are plotting! Oh no! Holy shit, they just wiped that unit out. Excellency, both the police and our armed forces are deeply concerned about the risk posed by civilians 3D printing ballistic firearms. There's nothing. I don't want to hurt my approval with liberals. We still have pretty good public safety, despite the fact that we've got BLF mortar units. Excellency, one of our military units has seen a reduction in morale. Morale is hard to obtain and easy to lose. Units that take heavy losses in combat will always lose one morale point. So you should always seek to engage the enemy when you have a strategic advantage. Certain policies and events may reduce unit morale even further. Units with very low morale will rebel against your leadership and side with the Pesaji Liberation Front. Fuck. Alright, BLF mortar troops are up there. Move quickly, boys. We shall move our troops north. Where are my helicopters? Anyway, they're way off over here, right? Fly! Why do helicopter troops move so slow? I mean, like, my intelligence officer is here. Not picking anything up. No indication of any bad guy locations. Man, they really nuked those guys. I think they turned them into BLF troops, too. Uh, do we have a military base anywhere around here? No, they're way out in the south. Damn it. All right, um, conservatives, 63%. They seem to be inching up that way. Food exports to Babelstan. Didn't I do that? Currently exporting 10. How much goddamn food am I using? Also, okay. Um, maybe another plastics factory? this. The environment is the best here. Prosperity is also the best down here. This is like our superstar province down here. It's where all of the, everybody wants to live. We've got the most cities. Oh, I built a factory, not a plastics. I did have the spy selected. I didn't mean to build that. I meant to build a plastics factory. So we'll build two factories down here because Lord knows they don't need more. Let's just make them all super rich. All right, so... We'll have three plastics factories. We'll see how much that helps our oil, if we've got enough. And I guess we'll... We also have an additional manufacturing facility for consumer goods, I guess, so that'll help us maybe meet our demand between ex imports and other stuff. Let's also go to diplomacy here. Can my ally help me out with anything? I need a foreign ministry. So how much does that cost? Can I even build that yet or do I have to research that? I'm guessing I have to research the ability to do that. Where 
Where's that again? It's over here. What don't they like about me again? Processed food. Well, this should help. All right. We'll end this turn. I'm surprised I haven't gotten any more cutscenes or anything like that. Am I just doing that bad a job or? The enemies are plotting. Excellency, I have recently learned that we have no way of tracking if our state-owned farms produce genetically modified foods. Should we consider inspections that require foods items to be on their packaging? Wouldn't be cheap. No, it's not an important issue. Yes, we should do that. Urban approval goes up. Rural approval goes down. We should outright ban GMOs. That seems a little excessive. We'll do it! <laughs> no more GMOs. Why the hell not? Alright, the enemy troops are retreating away from me. My helicopters, can they find them anywhere? my infantry up this way, up this roadway. Keep the palace guards by the palace, I think. No sign of where they went. Hoping my airborne can catch him over this way. My intelligence officer has no indication of where bad guys might be. Oh, wait. Are they over here? Is that what this means? Is that the camp or just the troops that are retreating, though? Okay. The camp. Okay. Well, my airborne's on that on, in that direct headed in that direction. So is my infantry. So that's good. Uh, what about our situation here? We are now building. All right, so 255. So we need a little bit more oil, which we could look at importing, I guess, if we needed more oil. We're producing quite a bit ourselves, but agricultural fields, we're meeting our demands between a little bit of export and a little bit of import, or a little bit of import and a little bit of local production. Exporting considerable amounts of household goods, although we actually have a little bit of a surplus. We're building 78. We're, we've got 45 exported, 50 imports. So let's go ahead and... Increase our exports of those goods. Let's go ahead and export them to Tajikistan. They are our ally. My foreign affairs guy, what are you researching? I need a freaking foreign... How do I build it? I don't even see a, a foreign ministry as an option on here. Am I just missing it over here? Hospital, market, hotel, casino, university, laser, laser. Uh, where the hell is it? Is it, do we just need an embassy? Is that it? I'm kind of confused here. Health access is a major problem. Sabia. So uh, we even have any towns here? Yeah, there are. We already got a hospital here. Guess we'll put one there. Two hospitals here and a major initiative to improve public health. Wow, we're banking money here.
All right, we'll destroy that facility. I'm probably going to have to wrap the stream up here in a few moments, guys. But we'll see if we can't destroy that enemy camp next turn. Or this turn, I guess. Let's go ahead and actually, since we've got a few points, let's go ahead and see if we can't close these guys in now. Get those mortar troops headed out that way. Get the airborne in there next turn. Oh yeah, I forgot you can upgrade buildings too. Okay. There's a whole bunch of BLF insurgents. Illegal immigrants are migrating. That's new. Excellency, sometimes things are so bad in our neighboring countries that people want to escape and find new homes here. We can set how many immigrants we receive every month by talking to our neighbors and select legal immigrants are much like any other citizen. They pay taxes, they pay taxes demand, demand goods, demand contribute goods, to our workforce, but they also have some workers. loyalties to their countries they hail from. If our relationship with those countries sour, our relationships with those illegal citizens. Immigrants, like illegal immigrants, like, like those you see here, do not pay taxes, but they do demand goods and contribute to our workforce. If you let them stay, conservative citizens will disapprove and blame you. If you use your military to force us to turn them away, liberal citizens will disapprove. Allow legal, Allow legal immigrants in, and you better maintain positive relations with the countries they come from. Illegal immigrants come to send you, however, you're destined to anger a segment of your population no matter how you handle them. Great. Okay, well, that's a new thing. Meanwhile, development, we finished our nutrition program, so that's good. Um, let's start it. And then let's also do a health, a clean water initiative. Things that everybody can agree are good. All right, so BLF insurgents here, they're coming right toward me. Excellency. Let's move our mortars up this way. I'm assuming I can hit them from there. Excellency. No, I guess Understood. I can't. Oh, I can. Boom! Excellency. It's really going to take two turns. You can't fight in the cities. You got to go around the cities. That's weird. Excellency. Screw it. Give me the uh, longer range. On our way. All right, so we eliminated that one insurgent group. I'm a little bit worried that these guys' loyalty is so low that they might switch sides. I know the intelligence seemed to indicate that the enemy camp is somewhere around here. We found him. Eliminate the rebel camp. Okay, so we found the rebel camp. My armor should be able to move pretty quickly up this way. I guess we'll move the palace guards too. On our way. Excellency. Consumer electronics. I don't have any of those yet. Uh, who exports them? Even see anyone who oh Babelstan, who we don't have great relations with. So let's import some consumer electronics, huh? That'll improve my relations with them at least. A little bit. Away from tents. So let me see here. Provide you need unlocked in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Okay. So foreign so I have to research foreign aid probably, research trade agreements. So that's a rule of laws one? Nothing goats done in Basenji unless it personally profits. Uh, shit. We need to give you more food, Babel Stand, to improve our relations with you a little bit. Okay, let's build a new farm. Maybe that'll get me to where I need to be, I'm not sure. But uh, let's see what uh, August of 2024 has in store for us. We'll see if those BLF insurgents attack us. Shit. 
Oh no! Ah! A lot more illegal immigrants are coming into the country. What the hell? All right, Excellency famed actress Aaliyah Zeneb will be starring in an immoral American movie that makes our light of our people. I usually wouldn't raise this, but the statement might be appropriate under the circumstances. Revoke her passport. Ignore. Award her a medal. Um, well, I do want to appease the, the conservatives in that one region, so we'll do that. Wait, all it did was hurt my liberal approval? I didn't get the conservative approval? Damn it! I don't I don't have the cash or I don't have the oil guys, sorry. Offshore banking. Um what else can we research here? I guess food truck permits. All right, let's go take these fuckers out. So we, they converted my infantry. Excellency. Goddamn cowards. Palace guards, get up here and knock these fuckers out. Got those guys. Excellency. Mortar troops, go ahead and get these guys. Should have actually gone for the enemy mortar troops. We did detect the enemy camp around here somewhere, didn't we, with our airborne? Here? Excellency. Why doesn't it say where the rebel camp was? It said we spotted it. But now I don't see it anymore. Whatever, let's take out these troops first. We didn't destroy the mortar troops? Excellency. It said we would! Excellency. Get our armor moving north. Or that enemy camp. Let's also raise a new group of palace guards. Excellency. They're at least loyal to me. They am palace guards. I'm gonna build one more farm just because. I don't know why the hell not. Maybe I can get those exports going well. Making a ton of money though. All right, we've got 124 gold. Is there anything I want to build? Maybe a stadium, a market? Actually, what's that? We need to build Nature Preserve and Saba. Alright, let's build a Nature Preserve here. Objective complete. New policy unlocked. Loyalty increased. Minister favor earned. Glad I met your need. The Clean Water Initiative is done. Let's go ahead and spend the money on that to improve rule and uh, approval and healthcare access. And then... Uh, we'll do... Transportation Hub, I guess? the money and then I'm gonna go ahead and review the budget and put it in safer annuities so we've invest we've got investment income now or we should eliminate the rebel camp Food exports to Babelstan. Where are we at now? Ten? One month remaining? Did I build another? I can't remember if I built another one this month or not. Agriculture. 
This is just our agriculture province. Maybe we'll get the uh, imports there. Or exports. Moving forward to September. Enemies plotting. No, they destroyed a building! They can do that?! Yeah, increased government spending war given good idea. All right. Public safety. I want the rule of law, so we'll, we'll go with that. I can't support vigilanteism. Oops. We're allies. I don't need to make you happy. In Mizumura today, one question is on everybody's mind. Who is the gazelle? This much is certain. It's not me. <laughs> what? Mass lunatic arrest. I didn't even read the gazelle thing. Apparently that's a storyline that we need to follow. The BLF of control over this facility? What facility? Just a roadblock? God damn the BLF. So is this a camp? I can't actually see it. Just... I guess that's a military camp. Excellency. All right, let's go take these guys out. So these Excellency. palace guards go after this guy, this mortar unit. Excellency. These palace guards go after this guy. On our way. Counter-offensive against the BLF. Excellency. I'm just kind of confused, like... Excellency for Masenji. All right, so we destroyed the enemy encampment, so we uh, achieved that, I guess? We get thumbs up by everybody for doing that. Excellency. Now I gotta build a new oil well. Not that. Okay. You know, we still have a hundred gold. By the way, did my... I got thumbs up from everybody for destroying that enemy facility. Hell yeah. Excellency. This guy never got over here. I never gave him that order. So now our only objectives that are currently outstanding, conservative approval in Rumi... Okay. I need to get it up six more percent. It's already pretty damn high. And... I don't know. Hydropower, maybe? All these guys already are still researching stuff, right? Meanwhile, this one province is just great to be in. How's the overall demographics look? 46% of the whole nation approves me. I guess. I, I don't know between 46 and 41. It's confusing on, on which that is. But overall, it looks like things are looking up in Basenji right now. We did just destroy that rebel camp, so that helps. Although we need to get troops up here because it seems like they've got control over this border facility. Overall, our food situation is great. Our... Consumer electronics, or, or what is this? Our processed food situation is adequate. Our household appliance situation is good. We're exporting quite a bit, actually. We're importing our consumer electronics, and we're importing luxury goods. But prosperity seems to be doing well. All right, and with that being said, this is as good a spot as any to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. I hope you guys did enjoy yet another look at Rogue State Revolution, a new political strategy game out published by Modern Wolf and developed by Little Red Dog Games. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Leave your thoughts down below, and until next time, as always, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I'm out.